Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Breath of the Waifu Genshin Impact. And as I was asking, you know, for Rosaria to be in the game, she is actually in the game now. Since, you know, she was shown a lot and then now she's playable and she uses a freaking pole arm. Thank goodness. So I'm hoping to get her. Eventually. Um, yeah. A sister of the church. Though you wouldn't know if it, it, what, know it if it weren't for her attire. Uh... I, I, mm, I, I don't know from, from her from her attire I it mm, I I'm pretty sure I could not tell regardless I, known for her sharp code words and manners she often works alone hmm the, the that sharp blade of hers huh anyways so there's no new event thingy at the moment but they just released this not sure why they just released it, but, you know, it's 20 days and 20 hours left. I'm not sure where the other four hours went, but because they just released it. Well, as of, you know, for me, as of right now when I'm playing it. So we're just going to go through this. And yeah, Tartaglia is going to be, of course, the new wish, the five star. And she's somehow four star. Not sure how that's a... Uh, how or why? But we, we'll see. So you want to play as a child again? Even though, you know, we have child or Tartaglia. Or child. Yeah, 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 I already know. What's the hurry? Oh, I'm not used to this. With the, uh, him being in the up button. I don't know, I always have my DPS for some reason, my left no one. I don't know why. Shouldn't let your guard down. What board does he actually use? Oh, hold on. Hold on one second. Well, I have I don't have that at all, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> actually, what do they have him use? I'm actually very curious. Oh, the Favonius sword, really? Okay. Not sure if that's optimal or not, but it um Dodge this! Don't get frostbite. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's optimal or not. What the the uh weapons that uh they're given for these trial runs? I'm not sure. You can run, but you can't hide. So may or may not be good. Or bad. Cool it. This moment will be frozen. Of course, I want to leave. Why, why would I? Why would I want to stay here? Okay, we're gonna try out. I was like, wait, where am I going again? Wait, so that's 20. How, how much do I have? Oh. Okay, cool. I created another universe and found Yep, yep. I yeah, I yeah, we heard that all the time. Oh, you get to play as her. <laughs> it, after I told her I we've heard that many times. All right, well. Uh forget that she was next. My royal Don't get frostbite. Wings of darkness. No one escapes by sight. What what events do they make them use? All right, so we have oh, Favonius War Ball. Well, I think I have that. And Favonius War Ball. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they may or may not be the optimal. Uh, I'll race you there. No rest for the wicked. The uh, optimal play, but you know, I don't know. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Hm. No 
one escapes my sight. Are you something wrong here? Are they taking forever? Freeze! Oh, so sorry. Oh, I think I might have to just do the electricity. Might be what they wanted me to do. Oz, reveal thyself. So they all get electrified, I think. Wings Hell. of darkness, come, sever night from day. No one escapes my sight. Oh no! It was just there was a lot of them. That that, that was it. <laughs> it's because there was a lot of them. So I'm hoping to uh, in the in this wish uh, time. I'm hoping to get as no. Okay. I'm hoping to get as many rosarias as I can. Someone else with the with the pole arm? Yes, please. I, even even though you're not five star, I don't really care. At least you're four star, so I can get as many of you. I think, hopefully. Um, uh, try. So I want to read up on her stuff. When Rosaria unleashes her elemental skill, she sprints behind her target and strikes with her pole arm, dealing crowd damage. Huh? How do you sneak up on someone and use a pole arm? I don't know how that works. With the elemental burst, she performs a sweeping horizontal strike against surrounding opponents before summoning an ice lance of coalesced cold, which strikes the ground. While the ice lance is on the field, it intermittently releases waves of cold, dealing cryo damage to nearby opponents. Additional elemental orbs will drop during the trial event challenge to facilitate the. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. And take a picture. She really doesn't look happy to be honest. She just, just looks super unhappy. Okay. Ooh, nice low cooldown. And the spear you're using is the ice spear. Okay, cool. Because uh, that uses a lot of the dragon, uh, the dragon, uh, teeth that I have, uh, you can't run. that I have, uh, <laughs> saved up because I don't know what to use the dragon teeth for except for, you know. So it's charged? Okay, uh, as expected. Oh, this is good for my, uh, the Tartaglia team. Alright, so the combat is, uh, very different, um, to... Oh, far down. It's not as, uh, impactful, it feels, compared to, um... To how? How to? Tu tu how lu how you how I forgot her name but yeah her so yeah um let's see yeah let's go back like these uh no not try claim all right so let's uh by stuff. Drop. Oh, here we go. Got one more. Because like I said, we're going to try and get as many Rosaris as we can. So, who... Oh. Um. Okay, so Chi-Chi, Mona is the same... I still need to get Kutching. Alright, let's see. I, I do not want it. I don't do not want weapons. Like, I'm I'm actually glad that Tartaglia is actually the one up there. Because I guess his with with his full constellation, it's really good. So maybe it would be lucky to get it, but uh yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do single wishes until we get uh until we get a uh 
a, a four star so that um i think that resets it to the um and wishes again i think i don't know what up oh, never mind there you go we got four star <gasps> oh my gosh we we got rosaria the first 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 try first try oh my gosh oh oh i'm I, i'm so happy oh there you go we're done <laughs> we're done all right um so i maybe that was a 10. all right so let's actually count because i don't know Let, let's just do single wishes all right so so 20 when we get to 21 it should be uh yeah, uh, a guaranteed uh, four star. So, all right, let's just test it out. See if it's actually how many. So it's just one. Oh, poo poo. I don't care. Get out of here. Mm. Damn. I skip these. Oh, I can't. Oh, I have to hold it. Three. Four. All right, so five. Six. They really don't want you to <laughs> really get it uh, under 10, huh? They want to make it as tough as possible. Oh, yep. Seven. Eight. Nine. Wow, really nice. All right, so this one will give us a definite four star. Wow, so they really want you to give you a tent, like, wow. <gasps> All right, another Rosaria. Man, oh, I'm so happy. We will, we will check her out in a bit. Just, uh, I'm gonna do single wishes again. Con just continue. Continually. Oh, that's, we're just gonna see how many, like, is it always 10? Or is there any chance that it will be a four star? Not a, not a five star, a four star that just comes up, like, at one after another or something like that. Wow, two. Three. Four. Nope. Five. They really don't want you to, yeah, get a four star, uh, you know, at all. With, within uh, under 10. Wow, okay. Oh, man, whatever. Oh, oh, there you go, well, there you go, nine. Ooh. All right. Cool. All right, so I want to test something out. All right, so say we do ten, well, nine here, right? We do nine, and then we do nine, and then we go ten. For some reason, I have a feeling that uh, I'm gonna get an orange, a five star. Out of nowhere. One. Two. Three. Four. 
five. Oh, oh, there we go. I already have that. Five. Now six. So, but the orange one doesn't count as a, a four star, I think. Seven. Eight. Oh, well, okay. I was about to say, I was like, do I have him? I don't remember. All right, let's, just, let's, let's, let's continue this try it again. One. Two. Mm. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. All right, so, so that was eight. And then nine, ten. Will it, does it count for this or not? That's a question. Because I actually don't know. I didn't, I never researched any of this up, so I don't know. Um, so let's just try two. Nine. Ten. Alright, so it doesn't count. Okay. Go one more for good measure. Yep, alright, so it doesn't... So they, they aren't... Cumulative, for, they, they aren't attached to each other. Okay, now we know. So, the be this one, or, yeah. Okay, now, okay, now I understand it. Now, the question is Does getting the orange screw up the chance of getting this one? Hmm. Well, let's just finish this then. Oh, I should have waited because I, I like I like seeing it be uh, you know a different color, or not. I think the other one was not a colorful one. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Oh. You think we'll get it in two tries? Something different. Well, I'm gonna try, I guess. Nope. Alright. Alright, here we go. So that was three. We did three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Hmm. Nine. This or the next one. Okay. Oh, a book. Oh. Wow. Okay. So. Oh, hooray. Game really was like, oh, they're giving him uh, the uh, Rosaria. <laughs> oh, oh, Tartaglia, it's gonna be Tartaglia. How did I know? Because the last one was not Tartaglia, or it was not the event banner. So, how this works is that if you get an, if you get an orange. If you get an orange um, or a five star in your uh, the premium wishes, you and it's not the event banner, 
the chances of you getting the um you, you it, it's like a it, it, i think it's a hundred percent probability i think that you the next um orange one or the five star will be the event banner one so yeah i'll talk to you i mean that's good I, I i want more of his stuff but you know the chance of me getting his stuff is juicy. but i will get as many uh wishes as i can because i want rosaria let's check out rosaria I hope the Knights of Favonius are all working hard. Mm hmm y Yes, yes, they are. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, we... I like him. I like her. Hmm. So what... would be good would be... I like this team. This team's a nice team. I don't know about Mona, but I do want to level her, her up, though. Kind of. Not really. I don't know. I mean, I can have her. But, uh, three ice, but then... Won't get the benefit of the two water. I don't know. What does water do anyways? Increases incoming healing. Oh, that actually is actually really nice. Um, but the ice is uh, really good. Ooh. Make sure to keep up. I will. Actually, this. this uh, no. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna do a quick change. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I, I did it by accident. Whoops. All right, check her out. Ooh. Alright. So, uh... Increases the cooldown of Foul Legacy Raging Tide by 20%. Alright, that's good. I, it's, it's freaking... It takes a long time. Glad I got that. I, I'm not even gonna look at the other ones because it's gonna take a while. No, you're not going to be using the beginner's protector. Are you? Are you serious? No, I'm giving you this. All right, and then we gotta craft you more. Um, I mean, I can give you no nah, this. Yeah. All right, so we got a few. And Rosaria deals a crit hit. Her attack speed increases by ten percent. Her normal attack damage increases by ten percent for four seconds. Oh, so you want her? You want her to have crit. Ooh. We got three, by the way. So that's, that's, oh, I'm happier about that. Ooh, sparkly. No, this is not the whole episode, by the way. <laughs> no, we, we're, we're going to do an event. Uh, when an event happens, we're, we're putting in that event um, in this video. The duration of the ice lands created the, uh, by rites of termination. Ooh, I like that sound. Rites of termination. It's increased by four seconds. Nice. And increases the level of ravaging confession. The wages of sin. Unholy revelation. Land without promise. I I like I like I like her uh, her style here. Increases the yeah uh, by three fifteen. Ooh, I'm happy. So let's check her talents because I have no idea. All right, uh huh. Okay, it doesn't. Rosaria, okay, um, slashes them with her pole arm. Dealing crowd damage ability cannot be um cannot be used to travel behind opponents of a larger build. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so. Duration, skill damage, okay, um, Azira's unique take on this prayer ritual, first she swings, uh -huh. both age, um, actions deal crowd damage, while active, the ice lands periodically receives a blast recorded in crowd damage to surround your opponent, okay, so that, I right, when Rosaria strikes an opponent from behind using Ravaging Confession, crit rate increases by 12%, okay, 
Casting Red Termination increases the crit rate of all nearby um, party members except Rosier. What? By 50% of Rosier's crit rate for 10 seconds. Crit rate bonus gain this week cannot exceed 15%. At night? What? Increases the movement speed of her own party members by 10%. Does not take effect in domains, trounce, domains, spiral abyss. Not stackable with passive towns that provide the exact same effect. What? 18th and... So that's what, 9? No, it's not, no, that's not 9, that's 6. So 12 hours. Oh. Interesting. So it doesn't really stack with anything? Like, her, her abilities don't really... Deck. I mean, besides the uh, constellation, which actually st stacks with the uh, crit hit. So, I guess now would be. I'm actually gonna take my time with this. Uh, I think now would be a good time to actually. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I freaking uh, grinded a lot of. Why do I have a lot of gladiators finale? I don't know. I granted a lot of the ice ju just for this, for the case of uh, her appearing, and she appeared. Now, right, so what, what do we got? We got attack, attack, attack. So, uh, yeah, um, I may or may not have sped through the whole thing, um, because it took way longer than I expected it to. Uh, I, I did not realize that it took a long time just for me to debate, and it's not fun to watch, you know, to actually, actually, let's go here. Elizabeth Maxwell. Listen, disciple. If you've got a problem you can't handle, then I'm the one for the job. Oh, we'll read that later or something. 124. What's the music? She got all quiet. What, what, what's it what's it trying to tell me oh yeah him i forgot we got uh his thing i literally just forgot rain swords oh all right cool 
I don't know why there's no music. It's very odd. I, I'm gonna teleport out of here. But yeah, uh, I I I sped through all of that, um, deciding on which equipment I'm gonna be using because um, I. Oh, there's the music. All right. I was like, where's the music? I can't hear it. But, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I, um, uh, bet through all of that because I took way too long. Um, actually looking at the time of the recording, it, it actually was way longer than I thought it was gonna be. Because I thought it was gonna be, um, faster. But, you know, I took my time actually looking through it. And, uh, yeah, that's the, um what I ended up with uh, for my artifacts and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> even though I talked through the whole thing, it's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, in the next uh, transition, there will be an event that actually is worth um, the video, not through all of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah, see, see you in a second. I'm starting the game like this, or from the uh, transition. Uh, yeah, bright, bright, brightness in your eye holes or eyeballs because I accidentally triggered something and then I was all f it and yeah, here we go. Oh, yes, yes. They have the audacity to go after anything. The seven dragons, gods. No ancient artifact that relates can escape their greedy ambitions. Still, this time is different. Who do they think they are going after the Abyss Order's treasures? Oh, Traveler, it's you. Huh? Ganyu, what are you doing here with Lan? Do you have a commission you need to post? Hello. We were just discussing the treasure hoarders. Yes. We were just saying how even the audacious treasure hoarders should know better than to mess with the Abyss. It's just too evil. But we recently received intel from the Ministry of Civil Affairs that two big-time treasure hoarders in Liyue and Mondstadt are planning some big joint operation. Two big-time treasure hoarders? Yes. They're known as Big Sis of the South and Raptor of the North. Oh, Raptor! Paimon remembers he tried to run away from Amber and Mondstadt. But who is Big Sis of the South? Hmm, Big Sis. Why does Big Sis remind me of uh, Rosaria? I don't know why. It kind of does. And anyways, I didn't even know this event existed or whatever this thing existed because I literally checked the event thing nothing was there and then I was walking around um, I was uh, doing my expeditions and then I took two steps to the left and I was like what huh there's no no mark or anything I was like uh huh and I was like oh f4 oh f4 and then I logged in again to see if I can not trigger it so I can go do my uh use up my maxed out uh, resin right now and yeah and then it came up again I was like oh I four oh I four all right and then here we are <laughs> so I guess we're just doing this uh is she the boss of treasure horse referred to you already know something then no I guess you must have crossed paths with the treasure hoarders many times before I don't know you are correct she's the head of the treasure hoarders in Liyue. as I understand it the treasure hoarders all call her boss some say that the god of thieves even bestowed a gift upon her for her exploits, making her big sis of the gods. But that's probably just a wild rumor. Anyway, the treasure hoarders discovered some previously unexplored ruins that the Abyss Order has been secretly guarding in the shadows. Despite how dangerous that makes it, all the treasure hoarders can think about is what kinds of treasure could be inside. They have already devised a plan. They will send out a decoy to divert the Abyss Order's forces away from the ruins, then send an expert thief inside to steal the treasure. To this end, Big Sis and Raptor have reportedly recruited a certain Grand Thief from Fontaine. Grand Thief? 
That's quite an impressive sounding title. Fontaine? Again? Man, Fo Fontaine has a... Uh... Fontaine pretty much uh, is uh, everywhere now. Bioshock, he can now, he now he's in Genshin Impact. I, I don't even know how he traveled here. I don't know, he has, he has some some sorcery going on from with him, so I don't know. Anything could happen. Anyways. Oh, indeed. He is an extraordinary individual. The Grand Thief is highly respected in the Treasure Hoarders, in the same way that we adventurers look up to great adventurers. Just like the famous adventurer, Alice? Who? Who, Alice? I don't remember her. I know Stanley, because we always see Stanley being sad in front of Mondstadt. I don't know who Alice is. I, uh, I don't remember. I would just pick her because I don't, I forgot. Ah, so you're familiar with the author of the Tavat Travel Guide, then? Oh, her. Correct. The Grand Thief is someone as renowned as her. So, despite being relative big-timers in Liyue and Mondstadt, Big Sis and Raptor had to put in a lot of work to convince a thief of his status to come and personally oversee this operation. With the major changes in Liyue recently, the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the Millilith already have their hands full. They don't have any time to investigate rumors about treasure hoarder activity. But anything related to the Abyss makes me feel like there is some unknown danger lurking beneath the surface. So I decided to come to the Adventurer's Guild to post a commission. Oh. I might even see you standing there. That's why I, that's why I like went towards this direction. Because no one was here. I don't understand. So, uh huh. Well, since I'm here, I too understand the dangers of the abyss. What's the reward? Mm -hmm. Leave this commission to us. Oh, thank you so much. Good to see this in the hands of a reliable guild member. Well then, good luck. The guild will take care of the details of this commission. We will be reunited. I guess we're starting at the event. But, uh, can, can I please do my stuff first? Like, like, that was the whole point of me wanting to do all this first. And also, uh, as you guys, um, might realize, there's a weird thingy happening, so I'm gonna do that first. But first of all, I need to actually, um... Into my Rosaria team, and also, also I think. All right, so I think I have enough money to level her up. Let's see if we have enough to finish leveling her up. Oh, I don't got no pink berries or this. Ah, oh, dang it. That's fine, but I do need to, um, actually go and, uh... Uh... Do something. I need, yeah, I need, I need to get this. Yeah, this material. So this was what I was gonna do. I didn't even know that an, an, an event was happening today. Or started, or whatever. It just happened. Like, look. It, do, it doesn't say nothing about it. Oh yeah, this is a thing. This is another event where I found uh, this little uh, buddy of mine. I I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit after I beat up some people because they make me angry. Yes. So yesterday, um, well, you know. When I when I sleep, I have a CPAP on. It's a continuous pressure, um, continuous pressurized air pathway or something. Yeah. And I have my mask on, my uh, sleep mask on, and everything. And
My sleep the mask on. sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Everything. And then I passed out. I like went to sleep. I passed out. I was like, oh. Alright. I went to sleep. I woke up. And then I'm like, why do you, I feel so tired? Oh, guess what, everybody? <laughs> I didn't plug in. I didn't plug the tube to my, my CPAP mask. Great. <laughs> so I feel exhausted. <laughs> Because it's supposed to open up my airway and not have any, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> happenings. Involuntary sacrifice. And I was like, oh, um, it's like, oh, day it. Like, I, I, and then I already knew. My whole day is ruined because I'm gonna feel so tired. I'm gonna hope to have a better outlook for today, but as of yet, it's like, I want to just close my eyes. It's like, this is how I feel every day, pretty much. Most days when it's... Um... Not... When I have at least some sort of sleep. Then I at least feel a bit more rested, but... Today is like... More or less most of the time how I feel and it sucks because it's like I have, to, I have to I have to push my energy towards the positive side you know I, I can't feel all doom and gloom the whole time because uh, of how I feel every day but it's still a very huge nuisance and I know I complain about it a lot because it is very debilitating and very annoying but faster only thing I can do is manage the pain in my headaches Causes and faster. everything else. Okay, faster. Just... And recently I've noticed, I don't know if I've talked about this. Um, I mean, I have talked about how my psyche, the, the way it's protecting itself, is like it's not cutting off, but it's blocking out synapses in my head, in my brain. Like the synapses connecting memories and such. Like, there's stuff that I know and remember that I should know and remember, but. It's just done to my tongue kind of thing. And I forgot what I was talking about before that. <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about, um... Are you serious? Did... I was talking about, um... Let's see, what was, uh... Oh yeah, yeah, I remember now. So, I, I recently realized that, um, alright, goodbye team. Because, um, it really wastes a lot of time when people just, they, they, they join the, they join the domain, and then after leaving it, and then, tr and then, re and then try, and goes back in, it's like, hello, can you, can you, is it, can you just, you know, Press the retry button, you know, can we wait? Like, it takes a lot longer for, uh, you know, to uh, leave the domain and then come back out. Hello? Something happened. Uh, let me uh, fix this. See, this is what happens. See, you try to, you know, leave the domain, then try to go back in and leave. And eh. so, after uh, fixing uh, that, whatever that was, I am back. And uh, I did everything that I needed to do, except for the stuff I wanted to show you guys, which is the event and the other event. So, before we do that, though. Let's make some wishes. We got three guys. Three. But let's see what we get from here. Maybe we got something good. Maybe we won't. I'm going to say one or two. We're going to hit something. Oh, 
Aw. Alright. This one should hit something. No? Okay. This one should hit something. There we go. I knew it. <gasps> is that is that full sucrose? Did I just get full sucrose? <gasps> I think I did. Oh boy. Oh, I filled up sucrose all the way up, guys. I filled her up. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Um, We can get uh more Rosaria. Probably not. It'll probably give us Barbara. Barbara. Let's try again. Anyways. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, we filled up Sucrose. Oh, my gosh. We filled her up good. Here we go. Last one. This is my first one. My first maxed out. Here we go. And for the bidden creation isomer 75 type 2 triggers an elemental absorption. All party members gain a 20% elemental damage bonus for the corresponding absorbed element during its duration. Oh my gosh, here we go, guys. I might have to put her on my team then if this is the case. Do I get anything out of that? Do I get a story? No, just stuff. I think one of these days I'm just gonna read their stories, just like one by one. Oh, she is 70 though. So, I mean, I just got to give her the right, you know, stuff, but, uh, uh, oh no. No, any achievements? <laughs> no. All right. Well, that's, that's great. Anyways, but besides the point, we can level her up maxed out. So let's do it. Um. Oh, that's half of my money. Half. Half. Oh, my. Uh. Yeah, fine. Oh, I think I grinded all those bosses before. And no more leveling her up because she can just level up herself because that's the max level and there's no point in getting it to max it and spending it. All right, we dunzo for her. Sweet, finally. And also, the reason I am using this weapon for her. Actually, can I enhance this? Oh no, I don't have enough of this. I don't have enough of this. But uh, because it gives crit rate, which is really important. So. That's the main reason why I'm using her. Or uh, giving her that, not the uh, other ice weapon thing, my boober. All right, so the uh, this this event it was I didn't show it off in the beginning is because it's pretty much just um it, there was no dialogue or uh, voice um, acting and stuff like that, so I didn't see a point. Uh, no, it's not. There it is. Here, this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm assuming here would be... Here would give us the most. So we found this little fella... In... Somewhere. I forgot where. But, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll read the story afterwards. Uh, where is she? Or he? Endora. Yeah, see, a strange lockfolk larva filled with curiosity about the world at large. Lockfolk, lockfolk um, specialize in shifting into watery shapes and can meld with other water bodies and synchronize emotions and knowledge alike. Endora is still small and Endora is very cautious. Endora can spit out bubbles and meld with other beings of water. 
through which she shall learn everything. Oh yeah, that's why Carter, she goes, it's, it literally just said that. But then my little, my little uh, purple bu bu bubble friend went away. But yeah, uh, so apparently you, I think it becomes, she becomes uh, your companion as well. But I mean, we'll see what, uh, what else she can do. So LB would give me that bubble. The reason I started here is because I thought there would be freaking water thing. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I was like, there's a lot of water here. There should be something. You just, it's like fishing, except with bubbles. You just gotta hit them though. Oh my gosh, two for one. I never had that happen before. Oh, that looks like a egg and a uterus split, getting split. Mitosis. Or, uh, you know, twins. Oh, and these are aggressive, so, you know, because, you know, they're the ones from the Oceanid mob boss monster. Oh, okay, never mind. So I just got to level that up to 100%, and then she learns more stuff, which is awesome. It's like a Pokemon. Oh, there's a Pokemon game I want to play. Uh, it's not called Pokemon, but it's, uh, it's, it's close, it's like a Nexamon or something like that, and it's... Looked really cool. I might play it before this comes out or after. Not sure. Hello? Can you oh. Oh my gosh, I missed? Oh no. Ah. There we go. Oh my gosh, it freaking overthrows it. Ow. Come on. There you go. Phew. In the face. Oh, another one. Oh, jump, jump, jump. No? Come on. Oh, that was so close. I think frogs give a lot, or maybe they're the same amount. I'm not sure. I, I mean, 6.7. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to hit it. Eh, wait, eh. Did that give us a 60? Yeah. Oh, okay, let's see how much this gives us then. Oh no, they're all 6.7. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I just did it for like everything. I still don't know if I actually did this puzzle or not. I can't tell because I'm not sure. <laughs> ah, almost got me. Orders given. Orders received. Oh. There you go. All right, so the... What? I don't... I don't understand the reference. The thing is, like... They want me to... They want us to do swirl on this, but I'm like, I'm too lazy to do swirl. I'm just gonna throw it over the barrier. <laughs> That's what I did the first time. I was like, you should try swirl. I was like, I'm too lazy. Uh, mm, nah. I'll just... Oh, more frogs are back there. Eh, I'll just... I'll, I'll just get angry, um, you know, make, make them... annoyed. And then I'll run away. <sighs> Aha! Take that, crazy hoarders! Uh, yeah, we, I mean, we, we do have to, uh, fight them faster. about the event okay, story faster. or whatever is happening in the world. I, I didn't even pay attention. I just know that the... And the big, the big, the big sisters, uh, like, gonna, you know, bang Raptor and meet up together or something. I don't know. Right? Maybe I got, I got something mixed up there. I don't know. With each small step a child takes. It, okay. Oh. I didn't, it went so fast I didn't even read it. And 
then we go over yonder. This guy right here. Rodea's Rage. So it says treasure collection cost. 40 resin or one tier. Oh, wrong one. That, that's the wrong one. And yeah, when you select it, when you have a tier, uh, you, you don't get a choice. It says use tiers. Like, hmm. Well, it says I can use either the tier or that, so... Huh? Me confused. Alright. Alright, so the... Alright, so... Okay, let's check it out. So... No, I, I press B. I mean, Y. Alright, so I don't want to take any more because I don't... want to. All right, so yeah, exploration. You do this, you do this. Yeah, it's like fishing, and then uh, story. Want to grow quickly? Want to find Rodea, a child new life like Endora? A child's mission is to grow. To grow? I thought it was to see the world. Love for Oceanids. This is to meld together as one. There will be no division then. That is why Oceanids need no learning or thoughts of their own. All that is needed is love. It seems that Oceanids cannot love others, for others will only drown in the embrace of pure waters. So they disguise themselves as the dreams of young children and withdraw from the lives of all other people. Every day a child takes a stumbling step forward. Every day a stream of flows. A stream flows into the sea. And then uh, this will uh, activate after this. So I'm assuming that... I'm assuming that um, finishing this will take us to this. Which I most likely will um, probably... Uh, slice it into this episode even though we're doing this but uh you know must well fit it in at least right just so it's not a uh, kind of <laughs> left out for you guys unless this is like one day and then this is a different day that'd be like mm, i will think about it faster but anyways let's fight rodea's okay, rage because I don't know, if, uh, I, I don't know if you have to fight it every time you finish the thingy, but just in case, you know. Let me equip my purple buddy. Yay. Yeah, see, it says or and or, but it's like, eh, uh, mm, <laughs> There's no or, oh, up, uh, up, oh, uh, there I go. Oh, so as I was saying, sorry, but before the whole uh, uh, transition, uh, uh, broken, uh, frozen part of the game happened. Uh, yeah, apparently I get tired with sunlight or anything bright light. I don't know if it's related to my headaches or not, but it's so, it. I like I don't, I don't know what having a headache caused by light is like, but bright light and kingdom. such really does make me exhausted. It, it makes me feel tired for some unknown reason. It's really not clear why, or maybe it's psychosomatic. I need a I need a, a drink some stuff. Hold, hold on, don't kill me, please. Wait, wait. Faster. There you go. Okay, faster. But I need any East boot to increase my damageio. Damage, uh, sure. I'm panicking. Huh. 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 Rise. Time to go. Huh. Faster. Okay, faster. Huh. Huh. Holy moly! Look at all that damageio. Is it gonna come down? Hello? That was weird. Oh, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. 
Oh, it's not hitting me. It's hitting, it's hitting her. Okay. Whew. Ow. Opening box of Adepti tricks. Did I hit her? Rodea. Life goes on. I hit it. Hit him. Hit. Faster. Oh. Okay, faster. Run. Oh, we good. <laughs> I wonder if that will still kill someone though. Cause that is like an instant death thing. Oh. No, it doesn't. Oh. See? Consume heart of the spring. No. Me no no. And then I just leave. Sorry. I'm leaving. But yeah, um, because, okay, so the reason I'm not using it is because I don't know if the water somehow is needed for something special at the end, right? Because this is some crazy inventory item that I cannot even find in my inventory. So I don't know if it's some special thing that is there. It doesn't have an expiration. It doesn't say it does somewhere or anywhere. So I'm assuming it's, it's super important, right? That's my that's my assumption, right? So Okay, so let's read this. I don't know what this is about. You hear from Ganyu. From um and Lan. Lan? I I I always I always called her Lan. Like a LAN party. That the treasure hoarders of Monstan and Liyue have bands together and plans to get involved in some ruins associated with the Abyss Order. Fearing the chaos that the treasure hoarders might cause through their involvement, you take up the commission and investigate. So with this tiredness from the bright light, sunlight, or maybe morning, I don't, I don't know. And I'm still uh, waiting to uh, see the uh, uh, the doctor's message, um, uh, you know, about it. See if who if there's someone to talk about uh, with a specialist or something. Or um, where am I going? Oh, yeah. Or uh, if there's a uh, someone or my headache specialist because I don't really know to be honest. It's odd because when I wore those uh, glasses, the the ones from the optometrist when they, you know, uh, dilate your pupils, um, those are dark. They're dark. They're like, I don't know. I think they're, I don't know how many uh, UV protection they, it, it has, but um, 400 UV uh, sunglasses that I'm wearing right now while stream, while not stream, while recording this in my room because... I'm trying to test out if it's actually the, the light or not. 400 UV is not helping. I, I still feel exhausted for no reason. Um, I mean, then again, it could also be because uh, I had a bad night's sleep or always have bad, you know, nights of sleep. But I, I'm just, this is just a theory, I guess, to, to test it out. So I've been wearing sunglasses like every day or are start or starting to just to test it out. I might need darker glass, like super dark glasses. Just just to really see if it's uh, the because I feel more energetic at night, which is weird compared to daytime. Like daytime um afternoonish time I just feel tired for some odd reason. I don't know why. Like I just feel fatigued and lethargy and just it's, it's a horrible feeling every time and i i want to feel awake give me that oh i need frogs i need frogs for making potions oh no run away oh not that's not, that's not yeah i want a frog where the hell the frog go frog oh oh well but yeah so, so yeah i don't know it's it's odd also hold on let me check one more thing uh event what, what event is this? Hello? Hello, event? Oh, wait, hold on. Here it is. Oh. What? When did this say this? Oh. Wait, what? 5 a.m.? What? Permanent available after 5 a.m.? 5, 5 a.m.? Oh. 5 a.m.? Oh. All right, well, since we're here, and we got everything, uh, yeah. 
Oh, good. We got ice. Perfect. <laughs> Super perfect. Look at that, guys. We got ice. Because pretty much my whole team is ice. No, half my team's ice, actually. But whatever. Call of the Abyss. The ominous temptations of the Abyss lure the brave and the foolish alike. What, what temptations? What kind of temptations? Like, uh, anti -tem temptations? That, that would lure everybody in. Why don't they just do that? <laughs> Throwing hentai in there, everyone would just, everyone would go in there and, 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 you know, be lured and, and trapped. <laughs> That's funny. It's like a Metal Gear Solid 2, Twin Snakes, and you just put down the, the, the adult magazine on the ground. And everyone just like stands over it. It's like, oh, 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 oh. And then they all just make a circle for some reason. It was, it was. Weird, but it was funny. Anyways, no matter the fate that has brought you hither, well, it wasn't fate, it was, I was pretty much told that bad people and bad things were going to happen. Anyways, know that a new thread of fate is already being woven. Well, I'm pretty sure a thread of fate is woven when is is already woven, right? I don't think it's ever stopped wo well, I'm like, wovening. Does it? Unless it's a teeny tiny hair for strand for... I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't know, okay? I'm trying to make sense of something that's, n that, that's, n that's n no sense. Anyway, let's just go. Yes, uh, my, my team of magic, non ma uh, I mean, <laughs> magic, water, water, and ice. Here we go. Sorry, I, my brain is dying again. Ugh. Yeah, quiet. Hello? Hello? Your secret back here? There has to be a secret in here. Guys, it's so dark in here. I can't see anything. Oh, wait. I, oh, yeah. I have my sunglasses on. <laughs> but, yes, something about something about uh, the daylight really... It, it feels like it's sucking the energy out of me. It's like... I, I'm literally like a vampire, pretty much. It feels like that. It's weird. I don't understand it because I don't know much about it from when I learned. Uh, there are signs of treasure order activity here. They must have come to these ruins. Let's go deeper inside. Paimon sure hopes Ganyu's information is reliable. Cause I didn't really uh, read anything about this in nursing, uh, my nursing courses, so it's unclear to me. If such a thing actually exists, or is it psychosomatic, or, or something like that? So it's very confusing. I, t I talked to this about my uh, with my therapist, and it's, it's up in the air, pretty much. Do any health professionals know anything about this sort of symptoms or uh, um, there aren't issue? Any guards here. Looks like their plan to draw away the Abyss Order's forces really worked! Then let me know in the comments. Thank you. By the way. If you do. <laughs> well, th they're asleep? I don't know if they... <gasps> Secret treasure down there? Hmm. Mm -mm, I, I think it's a tarp. I'm gonna go this way. Hello? I'm gonna kill you first, because you're gonna kill everybody. You can't run! Lights out. Oh, I really like her. She's fun. Just need her to uh, be more be able to heal or something like that. Also, I, I need to actually upgrade stuff for her. Nope. Nope. Ah, dang it! <laughs> I was like, yeah, dang it! Well, I don't even know when to use this. That's why I'm saving these because I don't really know who I really want to use it on. Probably when I actually get everybody, if that's possible, you know, in like 10 years or something, you know, if this game's still there in 10 years.
All right. More signs that a treasure hoarder was here. This should be the right direction. But why does it feel stranger and stranger as we make it deeper into these ruins? I don't know. <laughs> um, be careful now. Paimon's right behind you. Oh, me had to hit that. Now. No. Did that go? Did that go into portal or no? It just didn't go anywhere. Okay. Okay. Right, so Pamela's talking about this. These tents. Okay. Where are the treasure chests? Are you? Oh, this is the this is the dodging game from uh, the. Yeah, uh, mini the Mario Party game stuff. Got a box. Oh, a radish. Oh, mm. can't pop them. It's stupid. Ooh, treasure chest. Oh my god! You see how long it takes me just to get to the next level after getting to fifty-five. A bajillion years. How many? Once, two, once, two hundred thirty-two thousand. That's only to for one level. I mean, sixty is the max level. But jeez, oh, Louise, Louise, go, Louise, uh, something. Yeah, excuse, excuse me. I'm trying to find secrets here. <gasps> Wait, secrets? Oh, hey, hey. All right, let's float down. Maybe there's secrets to land on. No? Did I just... Is that a treasure chest? I don't know. Oh, well, I got the resurrection door. Wait. Oh, just the rock. The rock on that side looked like a treasure chest from the side thingy. Hello? Me, my dear. My dear. Uh, hello? 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 Housekeeping! Housekeeping! Oh. All I had to do was turn around. Sir, are you okay? This looks like a person. Huh? Prison? Could it be the Grand Thief? Why is he in that position? Is he praying to something? <gasps> That's... Oh! <gasps> A statue of the seven? Some strange thing that I've never seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that's it. This, it. That, some strange thing that I've never seen. Yeah. Why is the statue of the seven hanging upside down? Oh, if I'm on the, if I'm on the emergency food, didn't even say anything about me questioning it. What that thing even is. an orb right it is an orb but this statue is holding what is that an orb uh paimon has a really bad feeling about this touch it first and the grand thief hasn't moved an inch do, do you think he's Good. um hello are you okay miss Oh, there's no reaction nor any sign of breathing. Observe the Grand Thief. <gasps> oh no, they sucked the soul out of him. Paimon, go, go, go touch the thing first. I'll, I'll see what happens. He, he's dead. Paimon doesn't feel so good. 
What a terrible place. How did he die? Uh, let's get out of here. And fast. We should report back to Ganyu and Lon. Leave the ruins, but but, but, but it might be treasure down back here. Is it treasure? No time to lose. Hold on a second. Let me let me try. Pew pew pew. All right, let me take a picture. It's 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 an uh, important day to take a picture. Special special camera. What? Can I use in domains? That's stupid. But okay. I didn't lose so much health. Oh, that's how. Um, can I just use water to get out of here? No, I still get hurt for some reason. Oh no, I'm stuck. Wait, what? Where was I supposed to actually go? Faster? Okay, faster. Don't want to be sealed back up. Oh. I found it. Never mind. Hold on, let me eat some. Stars. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, run! Resurrection door. Hold on, need a... the resurrection door is open for me now. Hold on. No time to lose. Take me. How did I die so fast? Yeah, how did I die so fast before? I'm. Oh. Quite oh no! Impressed. Oh no! Maybe this is just fate's dark design. Whoa! I never had. I never saw this before. Remaining revives. Re res retry. I ne I've never seen that before. That's cool. Oh, boy! Every everyone is the down. Oh, uh, where? Wait. To the selected character and regenerate. Wait, so does this heal everybody? I don't know. Let's, let's try. One, boom, boom. And then give me a giant... Actually, wait. Give me this one. This boom, boom. So does everyone heal? Hold on. Wait, I'm back here, but the, the resurrection door. Oh, so, okay, so they do heal. What? Resurrection door. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, I just passed through. Oh, got it. Oh, is it is it whichever one I touch it explodes? Oh, it does. <gasps> I found treasure. Yeah, at least we found out what happens after I die in a domain that I've never died before. In a domain, to be honest. Wait. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly it back down. Can you reset? Um. Oh, yeah, there it is. Maybe I just had to turn around. All right, so I have motion blur on. And I'm, I don't know if I like it or not. It's very weird. I mean, the only time you can really tell is when I turn around, turn the camera in fast like that, like 180. Find that, like you can't really tell except for when you're attacking. Yeah. All right, I found it. Don't touch the middle of it. Just, just touch the side. There we go. I done it. Red chest. Yeah. Oh, brightness. Hi. You cannot spy. 
eye on the secrets of the Abyss. You have come here. You have seen our secrets. For this, you must pay the price. Uh, five dollars? As a herald, I will mete out your punishment. An abyss herald? The one Dane spoke up. The monster we were tracking with Dane. Who? Who's Dane? Uh, who's Dane? I don't remember who Dane is. Anyway, the monster we were tracking with Dane, sure. We're... Dane. Dane's Oh, I thought you were just a couple of pests that stumbled in here by mistake. So, you are with Dane's that constant annoyance in our affairs. Did he send you here to die? His resistance against the Abyss has gone nowhere for a long time. There is nothing you can do to change the tide. The Abyss is unstoppable. Oh, I remember who Dane's uh, to lift now. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. I need to read this. An abyss order monster that uses a dark power to command warp torrents in battle. Some of its attacks increase the CD. The CD? Compact disc? Of character skills if they are currently in cooldown. Oh no, not my compact discs. Careful, please don't get cocky. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me just put on everything, alright? Let me, let me put on my... Thank you for, for taking a break while I do this, sir. Put this on, put my water thingy on, put my my tacky thingy on. Where's my tacky thingy? This thingy on, I'll put on my food oh. Where's where's my food? Oh and I already did my food. Oh, I need a stamina. Um I guess this this one. Barbara specialty. Nah. I use this one. I don't want to use Barber special D. Where did I get this one? Why is the why are these different? Oh, lantern right. Ah. What's this one then? Oh, alright. You can't run! Thank you for that one thingy. You can't run. Perfect. Boom and kabam. And done. Oh, well, I didn't know he was actually done. Okay, hold on. So, I I remember who Dane is now. Dane was that first. Well, Dane was like the the uh, the um the op it was it was like the same as Paimon, except cooler looking, and actually can stand and stuff. Grown up version of Paimon, like the species. I think I don't know. I this this is just my assumptions. I, and I think that was uh, the 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 companion for my twin. I'm assuming that's why he, it you know that's why it's like it seems familiar. <sighs> I hmm. I see. So it's you. You are the one. Huh? In that case, I shall stay here no longer. You want to talk to Child? No. Okay. Who knew the Abyss Order had monsters this 
powerful among them. It seemed to know me. Huh? What is it? What are you thinking about? It seems to know me. I mean, nothing. Let's just get out of here, emergency food. Oh, right. Yeah. We're near the exit now. Let's get out of this scary place before something even more dangerous shows up. Like a satanic, uh, cave. What happened? The traveling palm swiftly leave the ruins, leaving the treasure chest that was unopened. Thanks. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I was able to leave the treasure behind. So, we meet again. A little sooner than I had expected. Uh, I knew it. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I, I remember it. I literally remember it. I was like, oh, wait. Hey, that That's who Dane is. I was like, Dane is not a name you just remember or like know instantly. And I'm like, who who do we not see in like constantly? Dane, this dude. You look at his cape. It's literally the same as like Paimon's wings. Hey, it's Dane! Judging by your expression, it seems you just experienced something quite strange. Could it be that you encountered an Abyss Herald in those ruins? Huh? How did you know that? I've been on the Abyss Herald's trail. I didn't expect to find you here as well. Actually, the Abyss Herald wasn't all we here. There was something even stranger than the Abyss Herald in the ruins. Yeah. The traveler tells Danes about the certain statue and the sea thief. An inverted statue of the Seven, holding abyssal power in its hands. No, I have never seen such a thing during my time fighting the Abyss. Though I have had my suspicions. Satanic rituals! Tell me the rest of what happened in there. So you escaped the ruined depths filled with abyssal power, and then? And then, as we got close to the exit, an Abyss Herald suddenly appeared and blocked our way! We fought a big battle with that thing! Maybe it hasn't gotten too far yet. Yes, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Come, let's catch up to it. Yes, sir. Wait a second. I thought I was the one who commissioned you. Let's go. A rare opportunity? With Dane helping out, maybe we'll be able to solve more mysteries about the Abyss. But my commission. No, my commission. C commission. My My commission. Oh, but a mission? Oh. Alright, I guess we'll go here. We'll go to this thing. A commission. Hello. A mission? Oh hi. You can't run. Rise. You can't run. Oh, don't throw ice on me. I don't know where that ice one went. Oh. This is the only way to uh, take it down. A jump attack with uh, her. Ow, my face! Rise. Sacred name, fortune preserver. I need the healing. There we go. Boom. Perfect. You can't run. Shadows of. just now were they trying to ambush us no no they were just digging through these abandoned ruin guards looking for something of value exactly oh is that so the traveler here seems to like doing that a lot too looking for chaos devices chaos circuits you know that kind of stuff 
Uh, abyss mages probably weren't looking for stuff like that. Mm. They wouldn't be searching for such ordinary objects. In fact, I was nearby investigating precisely because abyss mages often come out from that ruin to explore. They seem to be searching the remains of ruin guards for a certain valuable object to take back to the ruins. However, they look disappointed, so it would seem they haven't found it yet. Well then, why didn't you grab one of them just now and ask what they were up to? Yeah, Master D looks done that before. You should be rougher with them. Yeah, I want to see his reaction with this about Master D D Luck D D Luke D Luck D Luke. I certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the abyss, but I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire abyss order. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation, or rather, these abyss mages likely fear something else much more than they do a painful interrogation. Well, first of all, painful interrogation does not work, all right? Psychologically speaking, it doesn't work. You want, you torture someone, they will give you any answer. It doesn't even have to be the real, the real answer you, you're looking for. They'll give you any answer. So, yeah. Something related to what we saw in the ruins? Hmm, fear. Hmm. I'm with fear. Uh, Paimon is getting goosebumps thinking about all of this. Yeah, fear. All right, we shouldn't waste too much time here. Let's continue our search. Oh man, I thought he was gonna say something about the thing in the st Oh, oh well. I, I I really thought he was gonna say something about it. Oh, I would have chosen that one then. How far is this thing? Alright, let me stop far up here so I can jump off then. There we go. Easy peasy. This is a longer mission than I thought it was going to be. Oh, this is a place where... Um, actually, no, it's not the place where... Uh, where we... Uh, made the cannon thing. Oh, oh no. Punishment. Rise. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. Ow. No time to lose. I really hate these mages. The worst. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh. oh, boy. Judgment. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Go. Oh. You go away. I hate this. I try to get the fire one. Eh, yeah, whatever. Sink is upon you. Okay, does that do anything? Is it better? Worse? Oh. Alright, good. That took that down. Alright, let's take this thing down then. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. What the? Hello? Where did that go? Okay, let's get rid of this guy. I keep shooting freaking arrows into the ground for some reason. Whatever. Take him out of his misery. Can you come over here? What? Oh, 
Okay. Oh my gosh. I just type over here. Thank you. I could do this. Oh. Opening box of Adeptitrix. Oh my gosh, this rain is really annoying. One more, one more hit. Thank you, thank goodness. Oh, how come he doesn't freeze, huh? I'm ice user. He's ice user, but he doesn't freeze. What? That's some BS right there. How come you don't help me, Dan? Wow, besides the Abyss Order, Ruin Guards sure are active around here. Hmm, seems wherever we find an Abyss Mage hideout, there's often a bunch of Ruin Guards roaming around too. Is that just a coincidence? Or... There are no coincidences in the world. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Just like your appearance in that tavern. Time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. So fate. Pretty much. But I only heard about you by chance. Forget it. Just some needless musings. Thanks. The connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the same roots below. Wait a second. Does this thing have anything to do with all the cold stuff of the Ruin Guards and the uh, Dragon Spine Mountain Spine of Doom Mountain? Branches? Roots? What do you mean exactly? Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Conria. Huh? Conria? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from after the destruction of that nation? Oh. Speaking of Conria, that's really a super ancient name. How old are you, Pymon? Oh. Right. As your guide, Pyman should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Conria was... I know about Conria. No, I don't. What do I know about it? What do I... I don't know nothing. What do you mean I know? No. Can I go a different answer? I don't know anything about it. Huh? Because I have memories of Conria. I do? I do? Huh? You have memories of being there. But that nation was destroyed 500 years ago. Hmm. Is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine, so I shall not pry into yours. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kanria you saw, what was it like? Wait, what? The person- wait, in the- in that sea of flames- I don't remember no sea of flames! The person who woke me up. Wasn't it Paimon? Dane and Conry, it's worth a shot. Well, I can't hide it from him any longer. I don't know, I- this one. The other thing about the sea of flames they saw five years ago in that god they encountered. Oh, that! So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first. Yeah, me too. I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your brother from within that meteorite. I don't know, but... It seems your brother woke up first. But the question is, how long before you? And then your brother told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos. And that you two should leave this world called Tevat? The destruction of Conria? He said that? 
Uh, that's what I heard at the time. I don't remember anything. I don't, like, literally, I don't know anything what they're talking about. Did I miss something? That destruction you witnessed, that's history from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your brother must have understood this world better than you did, because he woke up first. And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path. So you couldn't escape. Okay. I'm making I'm I'm making a hype I'm making a educational guess here. Alright, I'm gonna be guess that my twin brother went on adventures and did stupid stuff or or or, or uh joined some uh, evil empire that he didn't thought was evil at first and you know and then you know and then when uh, he saw what was happening and um oh no or he did stuff for them because he wanted to wake m me up somehow right so in that case he got everything he needed and got the stuff woke me up and after waking me up, the the uh, evil goddess, or the goddess, was super angry at we were leaving, and then took my brother away because he had um, he had uh, he didn't read the fine print in the contract uh, agreement, and you know then um, uh, way he was captured and imprisoned. Now I understand. Dan, and Dane was his follower companion. Oh, now I super duper get it. And Dane was, um, and, uh, I guess, um, I think maybe Dane, um, uh, yeah, he joined the Abyss Order. No, I mean my twin. My twin joined the Abyss Order. Um... Yeah, my twin joined the Abyss Order, and then they, and then before the uh, event, before getting, uh, doing all the stuff that the uh, Abyss Order wanted, I think that's when Dane split off from my twin because then he didn't want to do anything about it. But then afterwards, when he, what he, when he found out that, you know, the Abyss Order took my brother, or something like that. Um. Well, then again, Dane doesn't. Pretty sure probably doesn't know anything about me that or him or uh, my twin having a twin so that could be that could be the reason that could be what that, that could be why we were attacked so fast in the beginning of the game because we woke up angry goddess of the abyss order was like you didn't read the small print we gotta capture you and imprison you goodbye <laughs> Pretty much, I understand that. That's how. That's why the story uh, came upon as what as you know the start of the game. Now I understand, right? Yeah, is it, right. It makes sense, right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know, guys. Let me know. All right, let's do this. I thought my mic was muted the whole time. I was ranting. Well, not ranting. I was talking about it. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. But now, since you have come to gain some understanding of Tavat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. Am I right? Ah, if that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. Yep. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old books from all around Mondstadt and Liyue, but you told Paimon they were useless. So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria so you could find your brother? Hmm. The sec it's the second most promising lead after looking for the seven, despite only having a place name to go on. Hmm. Is it the second most promising? 
despite only a second a place needs to go on. Oh yeah! You can travel around the seven nations to find the seven. But where can you go to find a nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? Base. I probably know more about Kanria than both of you. Kanria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them, but because it never had a god to begin with. Oh. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented, flourishing, and glorious civilization. It was the pride of humankind. A nation without a god? Oh man, I can't believe we learned all about this whole backstory after after plugging up sucrose after plugging up sucrose we learned about all this story it, it happened after we 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 pumped her up oh yeah of the constellation of the constellation i don't know what you guys are thinking about but we pumped her constellation up that's that's it Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. You mean that? Five hundred years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that. That's horrible. What a dangerous world. I need to hurry up and find my brother, please. Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. I need to hear about what explanation the gods have for their actions. But the next time I see Venture's Zone Lee, I will destroy them. Huh, I need to hear more about this stuff. Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know as we continue our search. Okay. Oh sweet, there's more. I thought it was gonna end there. Cause that because that gave a lot of extrapolation there. Ex exposition, so not extrapolation. Uh I... I guess I go this one. This is faster, I think. I thunk. Or just because I can just jump, you know. And fly away. But I want a better view. Yeah. Rosaria. When I wanted and we got it. We got her. Which is awesome. Oh, I haven't seen one of those in forever. Where'd it go? Oh, no, I haven't seen these guys in forever. In like in like three patches, I haven't seen them. Oh, thanks. Five hundred more. Are we gonna be fighting more ice people, ice water ones? Because like this is a bad team to uh, use. <laughs> it's ice water one. I'm just saying. Do we have a different? Uh... Oh, never mind. Over there, it's more ruin guards and abyss mages. Dane was just saying how these ancient machines are from Conria. Hmm. So, did Conria have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? No. Ruin Guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. These Ruin Guards were known as Field Tillers by the people of Conria. Oh. Field Tillers? What a strange name. They were farming equipment? No, why, why would I be surprised after that? So what's with the lethal weapons? That's what I want to know. It's not like you think. Field Tiller was just a code name. The people of Kanria like to give code names to their weapons. Oh. The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. Uh-oh. This is how the Field Tiller came about. Oh. Fought for with 
was stealing blood. Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Uh, Paimon doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. Oh. <laughs> After the destruction of Kanria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. Uh huh? They wandered aimlessly over the centuries, gradually spreading to every corner of Tavat. Perhaps resonating with the sorrow of other civilizations lost to time, they found their way to various ruins across the land, where they lie dormant. Well, that sounds... so sad. Wandering aimlessly for 500 years, it seems we should put an end to their suffering. Uh, I don't know, I, I, that, that sounds evil, I, I don't know about putting an end to the suffering, but, uh, one in 500 years. Once you understand more, those details won't mean much to you. But no matter their past, all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. Oh, d no, no empathy or sympathy for them. No, nope, just destroy them all. I see how it is. Ew! Oh my god, my health. Wheel of life. Oh, hi. Uh, I didn't mean to uh, disturb you, sir. Uh. Ow. You can't run. We gotta get rid of this dude. I, why is always an ice person? He's like, go away. What a nuisance. Ow. Oh no. Final job. No, no, wrong button. Okay. Fast life goes on. Right, I need to get rid of you. Oh, okay, that's not uh how I should get rid of you. Who's still alive? Now oh, keep this. Nope. Go away. Riptide! You can't run! Rise. Uh, it should be the easiest way. Ow. Can you stop it? I really hate this thing. Ow, stupid ice. Sickle. There we go. Uh, I guess I'll just do this. I mean, it's not freaking raining. Oh, never mind. There we go, I need that. Oh my gosh! Are, are you serious? There we go, thank freaking goodness. Freaking die! I hate you. Thank goodness. Why are you helping me, Dane? Talisman seems connected to the Abyss Herald, but why would an Abyss Mage be carrying it? Perhaps it really does contain information about their operation. But Paimon can't read the writing on it. Oh, 
Is that the script of Conria? Engulf the faith of the enemy in flame, and bring glory to His Highness the Prince. What? Is that what it says? Loom of Fate, initial operation. They, the Abyss, seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. It seems like they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Loom of Fate? What's that? Is it literally a fate leaving machine? Whoa. Oh my gosh. If we didn't pump Sucrose full, we didn't pump her up good, the Loom of Fate would have never existed because oh, fate, right? Oh my gosh, destiny. If, if we didn't pump up, we didn't, we, we didn't fill Sucrose up. The Loom of Fate, we've never gotten the story. I understand now. We filled up Sucrose to find out about the Loom of Fate. This is where fate brought us after filling her up. Her constellation. Understood. Wow. Anyways, the Abyss Mage came from those runes. Is it related to the inverted statue? From the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting, those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate-weaving operation. So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. An ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. Very helpful. How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osile, Overlord of the Vortex. Oh. The Overlord of the Vortex? You mean that god in the ocean? It was just crushed by the Jade Chamber. What do they want with Osile? Could it be the <sighs> same? Could it be the same as with Davalin? I know of your past heroics regarding Davalin. And I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. <gasps> Last time it was Venti's old friend. This time it's a huge ancient god. The Abyss Order keeps setting their sights higher and higher. Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osile, just as they did Dvalin? Oh, I wonder. No. From the contents of the talisman, this operation goes one step further. Oh, never they mind. They won't just corrupt Osile's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the field tillers to completely transform Osile's body. <gasps> Is that even possible? So wait, the Abyss Order wants to make some sort of cybernetic squid god of mass destruction? Cool. A cyborg. Uh, sounds better. These nicknames keep getting longer, Paimon. Can you make them longer? Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Though, of course, the accuracy of that understanding itself is difficult to judge. What did they Only write down? Only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. Despite being far from human, they seek out this lost human civilization quite persistently. The talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, attaching Osile's limbs to construct a mechanized god. And the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the statue of the Seven is the eye of the very first field tiller. The eye of the very first field tiller? Oh, Paimon gets it! All those Abyss Mages are looking for the special eye, right? It would seem so. Hmm. They haven't found it yet. We still have time. Let's find the eye before they do. This whole thing keeps getting more complicated. But basically, it all has to do with that eerie statue of the Seven we saw, right? Yes. 
According to the talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue. Let's do that. Thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Hmm. Celestia. Oh boy, the Abyss Order sure isn't holding back with this plan. Hmm. Since no one knows where the first field tiller is, how about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation? Hmm. It looks like the Anmarcon, yes. Yeah, that tone deaf bard is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. No, he isn't. He's in the bar. The cathedral. Hmm. Huh? What's the matter, Dane? Nothing. Let's get moving. I don't think he likes Rosaria. <gasps> Nearing at the power of God. This thing keeps on going. I like it. Thank you, um, devs, for listening. If we want longer stories. I'm so happy. And my mouth hurts. Huh? I have a anchor sore. Or is it an abrasion? Lesion? Little scrape in my gums. And, uh, oh, a never mind. Huge statue. A grandiose cathedral. The people of Mondstadt clearly spent a great deal of resources and energy to construct them. Yeah. But how aware of this was the animal Archon on receiving this gift? And how much did he give back in return? Uh, he didn't. He kept on taking. As in, he kept on drinking lots and lots of wine. Faith doesn't ask for anything in return, though. Does it? Faith? No, it's fate. Fate. Not faith. Right? Because literally, they're talking about the loom of fate. And, if, you know, if Benji is here, Animal Archon, and you don't need faith, because he's already here. <laughs> as long as the gods have a clear conscience about it all, there's nothing I can say about it. Shh! We're about to enter the cathedral! Don't say anything bad about the Animal Archon! And actually, the Animal Archon is... Ugh, never mind! <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. I knew it. Huh? But we've done everything else together. Aren't you curious? Yeah, we've done everything else together. Aren't you curious? No, we didn't. We didn't do everything together. He didn't help. You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. You don't know. You, be, you don't think you will be popular among the sisters? Correct. And just as our little friend said, I might say something bad about the church at any time. When a non-believer steps onto holy ground, the result is never pretty. Uh, well... Uh... I have never received the favor of the gods in the past. I don't see any reason I would need it now, or in the future either. That's enough about that. While we've been chit-chatting, the Abyss Order continues to act. Oh, they found the Infinity on okay, it. Okay, then we'll just go in ourselves and ask around. I should warn you about one thing. Don't go mentioning the defiled statue inside the cathedral. All right. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss Order, it would only ruin whatever element of surprise we may have. I will let them know. Also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone. And I will definitely let them know, because I want stuff to happen. <laughs> I'm one of the sisters. Hello. Go into the cathedral and ask around. 
I'll be waiting out here. Okay. Why, why, why are you so far away? Couldn't we have stopped right outside the door, you know? Maybe? Just saying. Hello? Hello? I might just make it, make, make the, uh, the, uh, the ending of the, um, or the, uh, ending of the other event, of, uh, the Andorra event, uh, because, uh, it's into another episode, because, um, I think this one's actually gonna go long, so I don't wanna make it longer. Hello, Barbara! I have to speak! I'm gonna go steal the liar, goodbye! Oh, never mind. Why do you leave it open? I don't understand. you been? Do you need anything today? Uh, but I should first make it clear that if you need to borrow the Holy Lyre de Hermel again, we cannot oblige. Yeah, it seems she hasn't realized it's just an illusion. Oh, we're here to ask some questions about something. Barbara, have you heard about the first field tiller? Hmm. What's that? Field tiller. What does it do? Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, next question. Has the church ever lost a statue of the Seven? Huh? You're here to ask about that old story? Well, I didn't expect that. That was such a long time ago, barely anyone mentions it nowadays. A long time ago, there was indeed one statue of the Seven that disappeared one night without a trace. Hold on a second. It it just uh, disappeared one night without a trace. No footsteps, no nothing. Something super heavy. It just vanished. I don't believe that. I don't see any construction, uh, you know, uh, construction uh, vehicles anywhere. I, I don't believe such a thing at all. No way, no how. Nearly every member of the church joined the search for it. But it was never found. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Hmm. Of course! Of course? Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, uh, Paimon means? Any other strange stories? <laughs> Sorry, Barbara, but we can't tell you about the statue we saw just yet. Like Dane said outside, it's for your own good. Well, good for you, Paimon, but I'm gonna be blabbering about it when it's my turn. Other strange stories? I'm not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents are in the church's records. Mm. Oh, the tyrant's final fury? Mm, no, that's from another time. Probably unrelated. The tyrant's final fury? Oh. This refers to a time of great danger that engulfed Old Mondstadt, the place now known as Storm Terror's Lair. Many, many years ago, there was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached Old Mondstadt. Balls of fire raining from the sky? How terrifying! Hey, so it, it sounds like the battle that we had in the beginning of the game with the goddess, right? Ra raining from the sky, the battle, and... All those misfires falling into the, uh, Tabot? Right? That makes sense. People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the God of Storms, so they referred to it as the Tyrant's Final Fury. This strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It just gradually ceased on its own. Yeah, so bizarre. It's not necessarily related to the Tyrant. Right. Later, the theory of the Tyrant's final fury became less probable in the eyes of the Church. Common reasoning dictates that the God of Storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. I know. Anyway, this incident might not be related to the lost statue of the Seven. It is. But I just can't think of any other strange incidents that might be. 
It's okay. Thanks anyway. I have stopped There's set. that pointless word, thank you, again. I can never get used to hearing it. Oh, thank you. Oh, Rosaria, it's you. Whew. If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Uh, those monsters? Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? Indeed. They're gathering in Wolvenbem, causing great unrest among the wolves. Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? <sighs> As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. Wait a second. The, oh, oh. They're... They're angering the wolves. I don't, I don't, I do not see any wolves except for the ghost, ghost, is it a ghost wolf, ghost ice wolf? I don't know, it's just, it, it only appears when, you know, I, I touch the sword. But there's no other wolves, there's no wolves anywhere. I don't know what wolves these people are seeing. Am I the only one who can't see them? Master Jean has already headed off to Wolvendon. I must also begin to make a move myself. Th then I will go as well. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. M but you're also a member of the clergy. Don't worry, I will go and help your sister out after we uh, have a private meeting somewhere. Right, we'll go give Master Jean a hand. What? No, not Master Jean. Oh, okay. If the honorary knight will be there, then... But please, everyone, be careful. May the animal archon protect you all. B Barbados? Barbados? Will you protect me? Well, B B Barbados isn't here. Great. So, that's a big fat no. <laughs> hey, you. Are you causing trouble? You're one of the... Oh. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah. Very helpful. All right, let's go. Long story is long. I like it. Me likey. Me likey. Me likey. Me likey. Don't you hate it when you bite inside your mouth? It hoits. It hoits. Hello. Oh, I could. Hey, you. I found stuff. Investigate the plan that the Abyss Order's talisman speaks of. You might you decide to head to the. Oh, we already just did that. I see. Has the Abyss Order already launched a new operation? This could very well have something to do with the defiled statue. We should go as well. But what is the Abyss Order going to Wolvendom for anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? Uh, not again! No, that's not likely. Unlike Osile, who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. I knew it! Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolvendom. Oh my gosh, I was right! The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo Archon's old companions. Oh, I knew it! Yeah, I knew he was- I was like, I don't see no wolves anywhere! <laughs> it's like, unrest for the wolves. What? What unrest? What? Huh? <laughs> We talking about what unrest? I do not see no unresting wolves. I was very confused every time they talk about wolves because I see none. I don't need to pick up anything anymore. There I filled up my battle pass, maxed out. Don't no need. Hey. The abyss order. Don't underestimate the enemy. Let's take them now. What, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> they don't underestimate the enemy. <laughs> Take them out now. No time to okay. Lose. Yeah, I am. Amateur mistake. Try to get any a PS5. Went to the store. Went to all the stores. I was, <laughs> I was like, eh, you know. You know, it couldn't hurt. This is C. Sorry, we we, we, uh, we we don't do uh, 
We don't we don't keep them in stock. Yeah, do them all online. All right. Thanks. Thanks everybody. We're we're screwed. Anybody who's trying to get a PS5 online are screwed. Unless you're a botter. Unless you're a freaking botter. Like a lot of people uh we just bought to buy the systems. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. <laughs> Fits the Abyss Order's style. We should hurry and find Lupus Boreas. Yeah, let's go! I'm... not going any further. Uh-huh. Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fluffy animals? Aren't fluffy things cute? It has nothing to do with wolves. <laughs> It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. Besides, you're the one people like. I'm less likable. You really despise the Seven, huh? You really don't like social interaction, huh? There's nothing special about gods anyway. It's hmm. just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. Yeah. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. I don't. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. Even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. Does Dane hate the Seven, or is he protecting them? Why is your opinion so contradictory? <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. Huh? What fact? The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Well, enough chit-chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. Up, oh, there he goes. What a strange man. I can kind of see where he's coming from. Yeah, that's true. You also keep your guard up against unfamiliar gods. At the Rite of Dissension in Lyue, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. When there's a lack of trust, it's best to just avoid the situation entirely. <sighs> Not the easiest situation. Honorary Knight, Paimon, what are you two doing here? Oh, Master Jean! So glad we found you! Uh, she found Rosaria us. Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom, but I did not see you. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas. But the Abyss Order and Boreas... What is the connection between them? Boreas? They just like to cause trouble. Ah, <sighs> Do they really need a reason? The Abyss Order already went after Devalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archon's buddies. Hmm, that is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. Honorary Knight, please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. This God's spirit... He does not often see people. But I hear that you have met him before. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. I'll do it. The... Oh, you mean the... The, the, the wolf I fight every week? Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, Honorary Knight of Favonius. No problem. Well, if we're gonna fight the great wolf king of Northern Wham... We gotta go with my team, because uh, literally this is the only team I use to fight. Excuse me, I got... I'm late, I'm late for a very, very important uh, wolf date. 
I don't know what kind of day we're gonna be having now. I, I don't know what, what's gonna happen in the nighty time though, but hmm The mystery I need these for a sucrose because we filled her up Is that weird hillichero here hold on weird oh Oh, we are gonna fight them. Hey, hey, yo Give me your uh, your your foul I don't, it's not my fault. You, you was just stupid enough to just fly straight into that. <gasps> Look! Over there, it's Razor! And the Abyss Herald! <gasps> Sweet Coon! Sweet Coon? Sweet Coon? Hold on. I gotta take a picture. I, this is actual picture taking time. Get out of. Hold on. Where's, where's the thing? Hide character. Yeah. Hide information that did nothing. Wait, what? Wow, this thing does not go far. A poopy. All right, I'm coming. I'm gonna go around in a circle because people are gonna just go straight in. So coming from the back would it would be a different entrance, right? Hopefully, maybe. Or shooting them. It did nothing. You not welcome here. <laughs> So, the wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. What the heck is this ceremony? He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh no, is this the same thing they did to corrupt Avalon's mind? Wolves never surrender. But this can't go on. I'll stop this. Time for another round with the Abyss Harrowed. I'll stop this. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. But you ran away from me last time. No. Help you. Nice and spicy. Eat this. As you wish, me. Look how easy this is. Boom, bam. This is my A team. Now we come back. By royal decree, I'm the frying pan. Teamwork is dream work. Wind, hear me. Go and fly. The heck? Oh, let's get rid of his... Does he have, really have, like, that sliver of health? Where you go? Oh. He really has one pixel of HP. Yeah, barely a scratch. Hurry up, stop. I'm going in. Go as fly. Wind, hear me. Please. Uh, 
All right, we're not playing Beyblades here, okay? Oh, finally. The ceremony was interrupted. How fortunate for you. Oh, man, how fortunate for me. Oh. How does an old spirit have such determined will? No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. It disappeared again! At least we stopped it this time. It sure ran away quickly. Yep. Thank you. You came. Just in time. Human Lupercal. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Didn't do anything. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider, not respect trial rules. I too didn't see the trap. Wait! So you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? It's not your fault, Razor. Come on, cheer up. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's not your fault, though, but come on, cheer up. Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. You smell danger? And came here? No, we heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. Blood. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Ah, uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human made machine that I can never forget. Ultron. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? Hmm, could it spin? It look it, it, it sounds like you could shoot missiles because it's there's a lot of explosions and cracks and everything. Yeah. Missiles. I do not know this strange word. As I said, I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. Well, I mean, did it go pew, 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 and boom, boom, boom? I mean, that's all we need to know. It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. The Terminator. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but did we help? Yes. Yes, you were a big help. Thanks. We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. Bigger danger. You two also be careful. Oh. 
There was some good intel. Quick, let's go tell Dane. I will. Wait, I, I, I don't touch that. Dane, I found it. A so set apart. I found more info. Lots of info. About stuff. Dane. 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 Dane, there you are. Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. Uh huh. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. Cool. But back to the matter at hand. Oh. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? The Traveler tells Dane what they learned from the spirit of Lupus Boreas. I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. The Tyrant's Final Fury. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister, long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Actually, Barbara's the deaconess. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom. After it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom! That's what I said. It would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireballs stopped raining from the sky. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before, so they came to interpret it as the Tyrant's Final Fury. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. No. Wait, why no? No need. Why no need? I don't understand. Hmm. Huh. What do you mean? I... I remember. Huh? You mean... <gasps> We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. <gasps> That's what that thing was for. Onwards, after I changed my, uh, my, my character team. Oh, more story. I love it. Is it higher or lower? Lower? There it is, found it. This is it, right? <sighs> okay then, use your elemental sight to look for the eye. Oh, the wheels were still moving. You see it? This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. Rainbow. Oh. And done. Wow! It's... it's a... The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The eye of the first field tiller. Wait, so he made it? All of the ruin guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue. I'll do it. 
And if the limbs of Osile, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. What an extreme and dangerous operation. The Abyss Order must be stopped. Uh, nah, we, they, they can go on with it. Well, yeah, this one. Yes. Then, what should we do with this eye? Eat it. To gain its power. Hide it somewhere, no one will find it. Put it under the guardianship of the Church of Favonius. No. I'll guard it myself. Okay. Huh? You? Uh, Dane? Mm, you won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? Well, you did just, like, literally make it, like, appear, so I mean... I guess you can take it. You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. Oh, <laughs> right. Because our Barbados. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. Uh, can we let the church take care of this one? We can't have the church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Uh, destroy it? That's a statue of the Seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! Oh, well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise, she'd be going completely bonkers right now. I would have told her. Huh. Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. Ooh. <gasps> Teleport location locked. Oh my gosh. Where? Hold on. Oh, this is awesome! Uh oh, just faster. Uh, 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 this way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait, he, he said there was a teleporter. Wait, what? New teleporter act. Wait, what teleporter? I'm confused. What teleporter? What opened up? I actually don't know who he was talking about. Uh, teleporter? New teleporter opened up somewhere. Um, unclear. I don't know. I don't know. Oh well. Ah! Do it. The ominous temptations of Abyss lure the brave and the okay. Twenty eight. After all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. Gee, surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. That are the stupidest. Ah. To get to that creepy statue, we just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Let's go, and remember to be on your guard. Uh, I would say I'm the smartest and you're the stupidest. There. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Treasure chest? No. Treasure chest? Ah, yes. Treasure chest? 
No. Treasure chest. Yes. Oh, hi. And no more. We done. Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Did you bring it with you? Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dainsliff, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed, perhaps from your darkest nightmares, unless... <laughs> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Did you bring a cage though, sir? To, you know. You can't run. Can I? Can I? Where's Dane? Can I use him? Rise. <sighs> Sacred name. Fortune preserved. Written in the stars. You can't run. Life out. <laughs> Judgment! What a new... Can't see. You can run, but you can... Where do you go? Life goes on. There he is. Let me scar. What a new thing. Oh. He's dead. I know I should probably be taking care of them, but whatever. Oh, I don't know what happened. Oh! Oh! Now I'm quite impressed. You are? Are you dead? Rise. I mean, I should probably be f killing everybody else, but you know, whatever. Oh, we put the stupid thing on. Are you kidding me? Faster. Can't see. I cannot okay, do faster. anything. Where, where do you go? Hello? Oh, there he is. Maybe that's why they want to die, so we can freeze him. Rise. What? I don't know what happened. Judgment. Please don't play your uh, Beyblades right now, sir. Yeah, perfect. That did not even hurt me. Oh. 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 Oh, hey, are we? Are you done? Wheel of life. Judgment. Ooh, I dodged that somehow. Oh, come on. Orders given. Orders received. Oh. 
bit of water so I can just do this. And... Come on, I can do it. Judgment. What? Nope. Judgment. No, wrong person. Faster? Okay, faster. Oh, not this again. Stop playing Beyblades. I don't have them with me right now. Faster? My gosh, I didn't expect that coming. Ether? That's his name? Ether? Ether is his name? Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, uh, we, we filled up Sucrose. Filled up Sucrose. Battle of Gods. What a twist. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's, what a twist. What a twist. All right, let's just let it go through. I'm not going to say anything because this, this moment is wow. Lumina. That's my name. Finally found you. Let's get out of here. It's too dangerous. I finally found you. Let's get out of here. It's too dangerous. Your brother? And the Abyss? Lumine, why are you with Dane? What? What? You're asking about Dane? Uh-huh. We've been separated for so long. Why are you asking about something that doesn't matter? Your brother knows Dane? <laughs> Ether, we meet again. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows him too? You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. Ether. Hold on a second. Stop saying things that don't make sense, Ether. <laughs> but it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man Dainsliff was the Twilight Sword. One of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago. He failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him, to forever wander the wilderness, while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the Abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Oh, uh, Paimon's so confused. You can tell me all this later. Let's go home. Come with me either. Let's go home. You can tell me all this later. Let's go home. Come with me either. Let's go home. I don't know. This one. Home. Yes, of course. Home is wherever we are together. All right, I'm going to the abyss. I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Destiny? Listen to me, Lumine. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. <gasps> so we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, sister. I have more than enough time to wait for you. We have 
I've always had enough time. Yes. Yes. They left. No, no, we they didn't leave. We went through their portal to the other dimension. Oh, don't be too sad. We'll find them again. Look on the bright side. At least we got some really useful information. I'm not sad. <laughs> You're right, Paimon. There's hope. No, I'm not. Dang it. Dang it. At least now, as well as the seven, Dane is also a key part of finding your sibling too, right? Now the objective for our journey. Once we get to Inazuma, we should keep them in mind as we look for more clues. That's right! Um, by the way, what they said just now is all pretty confusing. Did you understand it at all? Nah, I hit my head. I, I don't know, I was too focused on my brothers really listening to uh, keep listening, listen carefully. I don't know what they said. I uh, think, I, I, I think uh, wanted each other or something. I don't know. Something was was weird. Oh, well then, uh, let's go over it again. Oh, okay. Travel and Papa try to recall as many details as they can. First off, that Abyss Herald called your brother Prince. It seems like your brother is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to him. Still, we don't know for sure if he's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your brother said that he wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be he wants to destroy the Seven? And the Seven Nations? Probably. Next thing, Turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying. And Dane is from Conria too! He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your brother said that Dane is his enemy, right? But... If the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come after all this time we've spent searching for your brother, it turns out he's on the side of the Abyss? What's up with that? We have many new questions, but few answers. Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your brother wants you to reach the end of your journey, show him what you're made of. Come on, traveler. Let's go. <gasps> Treasure chest. We'll be reunited. <gasps> That's the story? <gasps> oh my gosh. Treasure chest. Wait, you better open it. You! What this about? I don't know. Hold on, let me, let me see what happens if I shoot it. <laughs> Nothing. Alright. Cool. Sweet. That gave so much story. I loved it. Thank you, Dabs. Thank you so much. Except that took so long. I got to use the bathroom now. Is that it? Yes, it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Breath of the Waifu Genshin Impact, where we, the water twist, we first throwed up sucrose and then what a twist, what a twist biggest twist in the whole game after filling up Sucrose's constellation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you guys thought of this um, whole episode down in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are of what's going to happen. And I think I called most of it. I think. 
Maybe, maybe not. I have to go through it again. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching this episode. If you guys did, then please. And if you enjoyed it, then please smash that like button. Subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Don't forget to ring that little bell to get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everybody for watching this episode. And you guys will hear me in the next video. Goodbye!